Remember, if you like what you see on this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As you can see, the seedlings are coming on pretty well. Those are the Pablo F1 beetroot seedlings that I sowed. They're a bit leggy for my liking, but that's the price you pay when you don't have a greenhouse and you've got to do it on your kitchen work surface. Not that you can see, but I've pripped out uh, a load of my little gem lettuces. They're here. But today I've got to go up and I've got to sow the remainder of my broad beans. I've only got six that are growing at the moment, but I just need to finish off that row up at the allotment. I'm also going up there today to sow a very old packet of sweet candle carrots. I'm going to direct sow the rest of my beetroot, Pablo F1 variety, direct into the ground. And I'm going to have a go at Swiss chard. I've never been able to grow it. <clears throat> I've tried it uh, a couple of years ago. It just didn't work for me. All right, let's get up to the plot. weather at the moment is grand although we are due for some heavy showers later on so I don't want to mess around today I just want to get those broad beans in sow the carrot seed and the beetroot seed check on the plot and get myself home I was just about to plant the remainder of my broad beans and finish off this row here I thought I'd check on the peas it looks like we've got mice activity. It looks like they've taken the entire row, as you can see. Uh, there. You can see the surface of the soil has been scuffed up and dug up. And that is mice, as far as I'm concerned. So it looks like that entire row has been taken. Those were the dry peas. And coming over here, you can see He's had a damn good go at that row there, which were the wet peas, in fact. Let me just get that. That looks like the wet peas were starting to germinate, and he's just taken them. So that is the downfall of sowing your peas direct into the soil. You've got to deal with the pests and in this case the mice and everybody else who sows their peas in the guttering don't get this problem as much or if at all. It looks like the lupin's taken a bit of a battering as well from something. You can see it's been nibbled there, there, those two entire shoots have been taken off there and there. So I don't know what would do that. I don't think that's a mouse because some of these um, nibbles are quite high up, like that one there. I imagine that's a rabbit that's uh, having a go at my poor lupin. But I don't know what to do. I'm just going to leave it and just hope and pray that uh, it's still here next week. The majority of my main crop potatoes haven't broken the surface yet, which pleases me because um, a couple of nights ago here in the UK we had quite a hard frost and I think we're due a frost tonight. Um, however, yeah, what I might do is just earth these up a little more just to get them through tonight and to the weekend when it is supposed to warm up. Thankfully the parsnips haven't been touched as of yet. They're coming up. And the onions, shallots and garlic 
seem to be doing okay as well. Although I don't think the onions will appreciate these frosty nights. That might lead them to, uh, to bolting later on in the season. My camera's running out of battery, so I'm just gonna make this uh, final goodbye very quick. I'll show you what I've done. The loop in there, I've covered with some EnviroMesh. That should protect it from the rabbits, should, certainly for the short term, anyhow. I've got a plan for the peas. Fortunately, I bought three more packets of peas. I suspected that this might happen. So next time when I'm up at the plot, the, ple the peas are gonna get planted again and protected. There's the row of broad beans which have been watered. Let's quickly go up to the potatoes which as you can see have been earthed up. If you check earlier on in the video they weren't this high up the mounds. So we're still getting frosts here in late April and then one row of beetroot one row of sweet candle carrot. I rarely thin them out, I just let them get on with it and take whatever grows. And there we have the usual shot of the onions and shallots. Okay, the first problems of 2016 have hit my plot in the form of mice. They shall be dealt with. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in if you have, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.